Browns getting ready to travel to Washington to face the Commanders on Sunday at FedEx Field, and they will face a name that Browns fans are very familiar with over the years. Mary Kay Carson Wentz uh, named the starting quarterback for the Commanders today by Ron Rivera. But uh, Greg Newsom did make the point that the Browns have to be ready for both Wentz and, Ty and Tyler Heineke on Sunday. Yeah, they will prepare for both, but I think it's significant that Carson Wentz is starting this game. Of course, the Browns have some history with Carson Wentz, having traded away that pick and enabling the Philadelphia Eagles to draft him. Uh, so there's that long and winding road uh, that happened after that. But, uh, you know, he still has some merit when he's on top of his game. He's a big guy. He's hard to bring down. Uh, he can be very dangerous in terms of his arm and his arm strength. So uh, if he's on his game, I mean, he could make it a long afternoon on the Browns. Yeah, Ashley, and of course the commander's still playing for something uh, in this game, which the Browns are not. Yeah, I forget the whole exact scenario. They need like three teams to lose plus them to get a win and they clinch a playoff berth. But I do think it is kind of interesting because the last time we saw this Browns team when they didn't have much to play for, it was the last two games last season and they got kind of rolled, rolled over by the Steelers and then they beat the Bengals at home when uh, the Bengals rested their starters. So I I think it will be kind of interesting to see how they respond knowing that nothing is on the line. And some good news for the Browns. Jadavion Clowney was back at practice as he works through the concussion protocol. Uh, the Browns hoping to get him back on the field, Mary Kay. They've missed him in these last couple games, so to get him back would be big. Yeah, it would be. And I think uh, one of the most significant things about Jadavion being back if he plays is the fact that it really has a great impact on Miles Garrett. They can't commit as many resources to Miles when they also have to worry about Jadavian and it might free him up a little bit to get to the quarterback and he still wants and he's got a long way to go but he still would love to have that sack title he's four behind right now but you never know and uh, Ashley we've seen what Jadavion can do in the run game and like Mary Kay said helping out Miles just getting him back would be so big yeah I think so and I think I think Mary Kay and I are in agreement on this like I would like to see Jadavian Clowney back next year potentially because I do think he's been kind of underrated for this team I think they have missed him and him of course battling some injuries and now this concussion hasn't really helped things but I do think he could be key for this defense you don't have to over rely on those young guys that you have at that spot uh, now another thing that popped up today Greg Newsom he's been playing playing a lot of slot, a lot of outside. He's played more slot snaps this year than he did last year by a significant amount. And he said today when he talked that, you know, he would he doesn't mind playing both Mary Kay, but he'd like it to maybe be a little more matchup based. Have it not be so automatic that whenever you go to nickel, uh, you're going to move to the inside. He still likes to play outside and certainly he still has that ability. Yeah, I think he does. I think he would like to build on what he did last year as a starter on the outside and really, really play to his strengths. And it is an adjustment when you move inside and you're trying to excel in there. You're going to have a learning curve. And I think uh, he would probably like to uh, be in a position of strength a little bit more of the time. And, and Ashley, it's, you know, versatility matters, but you also want to play to a player's strength. And I think yeah. that's the balance that either Joe Woods or whoever is coordinating this defense has to figure out next year. Yeah, I think if they had played Greg Newsom primarily outside this year, like we would be talking about his second year, I think, in a totally different way. Because like Mary Kay said, he may have had a chance to build on some things more that he did really well as a rookie. And the reality is, I think in that slot spot, it's just more physical. And, you know, he talked about putting on a little bit of weight. I don't think it was enough to really make a huge impact there, but I'd be interested to see if going forward next season, if they're going to try to get a primary slot guy for that spot and kind of rework things a little bit and, and have Greg Newsom uh, and Martin Emerson kind of rotating in there alongside Denzel Ward. And lastly, a couple of injury things that kind of go together. Jed Wills did not practice today with a back injury. Chase Young is back for the Commanders, although he has an illness, so he was not at practice today for Washington. The expectation is that he will still be able to play on Sunday, but uh, Mary Kay, a potential matchup to watch that's uh, could get derailed if Jed Wills can't get back on the field. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we don't know exactly what happened with Jed. It probably happened in the game. Uh, but the fact that he's not out there today, uh, obviously that means that, you know, he is not 100% certain to go on Sunday. But certainly Chase Young, uh, he came back last week. They do expect him to play on Sunday. He played, I think, about 30 snaps or so uh, for the first time in 13 months after that major knee injury, torn ACL, torn MCL. But everyone knows what a load he is uh, when he's out there healthy, and the Browns are preparing for that. All right, Browns at Commanders on Sunday. We'll cover it all, uh, the lead-up to the game, and, of course, the game itself, all at cleveland.com slash Browns.